Oh, it's been a very tough week for the makers of not so proprietary tech hardware. I'm thinking about Fitbit and GoPro, both getting eviscerated as they struggle to keep consumers interested in their products, which is typically the way things go for the, any gadget maker not named Apple. But there is one standout exception here, one tech hardware company that's managed to really thrive lately, even though it's not doing anything that you could call necessarily revolutionary. I'm talking about Logitech International, L-O-G-I, for all you home gamers, which has seen its stock surge nearly 60% year-to-date, including a massive 17% move last Wednesday after reported blow a quarter. And the darn thing has nearly quadrupled over the past three and a half years, although that rally has come in in fits and starts. So how the heck does Logitech do it? Four years ago, this company basically been written off as a little more than a maker of computer peripherals. Things like keyboards, mice, webcams, really boring stuff, commodity. But since then, Logitech has transformed itself in two major ways. One, they diversified away from products for the PC, rolling out mobile speakers, headphones, video conferencing gear, and high-end remote controls, not to mention smartphone and tablet accessories. And two, they designed all sorts of high-performance gear for hardcore gamers. And we know video games have become one of the hottest trends out there, maybe the hottest. All these moves helped the company deliver a remarkable quarter last week. 35 cents of earnings per share. Stream is only looking for 25 cents. 41% increase year over year on top of stronger than anticipated revenues, up 9%. What a comeback. Let's check in with Bracken Darrell. He's the CEO of Logitech, who took the reins in January 2013. Masterminded this turnaround. Believe me, he did, because I know the company pre-Mr. Darrell. And just get a sense of where things are going. Rock and welcome, man, buddy. Hey, Jeff. All Thank right, so, so, okay, so my booker comes to me because we're transparent. It's Transparent Friday. And she says, hey, let's book Logitech. I said, are you kidding me? Like the maker of peripherals? She goes, have you looked at it? I said, ah, you know, I had privacy, C pro. And then I look at it and, wow, it has nothing to do with the, t- with the Logitech that I remember. And we, judging from Wall Street, here's a J.P. Morgan upgrade from sell to neutral at last. People are just catching on. Wall Street's slow to pick it up. Main Street, I just want to give you the floor. It's our first time on. Talk about this turn that you've engineered. You know, it's been, uh, it's been incredibly exciting. You know, the, uh, the truth is the turn we've engineered has actually gotten us back to where we were, you know, five, six, seven, eight years yeah. ago when we were really humming. And, yeah. uh, and we were humming because the, the, PC, the PC business was growing. And we were a PC maker, and we were adding great innovative products around the PC, and we were growing with it. The world changed when the PC slowed down. The cloud emerged. And now, if you look across here, essentially what we're doing is we're creating products now that connect to the cloud. So we've moved our center of gravity from supporting PC makers to supporting cloud providers. And that's been the the secret to the growth. But at the meantime, you do have that installed base that is really good for you. Yeah, you know, I, I, always, I always keep this in a dark place and say, I'm going to assume the install base is not going to do well, and that will force us to drive into new areas. But the truth is, the installed base is relatively flat, and as long as we innovate and create innovative right. mice and keyboards and headsets, we can continue to do well in that business, too, and we have. Okay, so what are some of the hottest innovations you have right now? Uh, you know, we've got so many cool things. This is, this is uh, you know, everybody's uh, favorite. We got into the Bluetooth speaker business about two, but, three you years But, you know, Harman has one that's like that. They do. Is yours they, better? They sure do. Oh, absolutely. Tell me why. Don't tell Harmon. All right. Yeah, it's a lot better. <laughs> so this is, is, <laughs> I don't know. Dinesh watches a lot, so we got to be careful. Okay. Uh, this is a great product. So it's totally waterproof. We design, When we designed this, the it's rest waterproof. of waterproof. Yeah, it's totally waterproof. Shoot, man. I'm not kidding because I take mine by the pool. Oh, you'll love it. You will absolutely love it. The other great thing about it, we just announced this. If you, you used to be able to connect this with another one, they play in stereo. Now you can connect it with almost an infinite number, 50 plus. You can string them throughout your house. You can have a party, and everybody can bring one, and they play the same thing. It's awesome. Absolutely awesome. Jesus, this is that's terrific. cool. This I got to tell you, that's really cool because, I mean, you know, as a user of, of, the, of this device, it's constrained to one, one part of the house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great well, idea. Show me some more. Okay, well, this is, th- okay, this is a really cool new product. It's called Pop. So this one, you can basically set this up and you can operate your lights, you can operate your, your Sonos, you can operate your TV. You can do three things. You can click it, double click it, or long tap, press it. You can set it to any way, anything, it'll do almost anything you want in the smart home. It's the physical thing that your smart home needs because you don't want to walk around with your phone turning on your lights. Right. So this is a really cool new thing, brand new. Okay. My personal favorite right now, whoops, sorry. This is your, is your touch or? No, no it's this one. I, this is our little circle camera. It's a newcomer for us. Okay. It's, a, it's just a little in-home camera, but it has a really, really cool technology. 
called pattern recognition. So it essentially will watch the room for you, give you a summary, like a lot of them will, but it throws out all the dead spots. So if you use a typical camera that gives you a, a summary of what happened over the last 24 hours, right. it'll be, you'll see 80% 80, 80 of, of what you're watching right. for that half minute will be just still. Right. This one, we throw all that out, and then you see your dogs running around in circles and your kids jumping on the couch, and it's really, it's really, really fun. All right, but how about I own a restaurant? Uh, most of the tape that I watch is dead. Would this be... This is perfect for a restaurant right. most of it's dead because it throws out all the dead spots, so all the, all the nothing moving spots, and gives you just the action. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Now, I wonder, uh, you got to explain to me about something. That this is okay. one of the most exciting things. There's, uh, I, I learn something every day from the show. League of Legends is the top-grossing video game in the world. Now, I had Take-Two. I had Strauss Zelnick on last night. Yeah. Take-Two Interactive, amazing. What the heck is this League of Legends, and how do I get involved? Uh, League of Legends is an incredible franchise. It was started a few years ago. It's the biggest PC game there is. You've got such a phenomenon now. I know you talk about it on your show once in a while. Uh, we, we, have, we, make, we make the equipment that people use in PC gaming. So if, if Nike makes cleats and basketballs, yeah. we make mice and keyboards and headsets. And so we're right in the middle of the action here. It's a super cool sport. It's on fire. We develop our products with, with eSports gamers, and, uh, and we love it. Absolutely love it. Well, when I joined the company, Jim, my, my, I had three kids. Okay. And uh, I have three kids. And when I, when I joined the company, they, were, they thought, okay, Logitech, that's kind of interesting. But there's one thing you've got that's amazing, which is gaming. And so they were all super excited. So when I came into the company, that's the first thing I, I looked into. And uh, it's been really, really a wild well, ride. Well, you, you have such a run. And I regret that I didn't just say, oh, yeah, let's get that guy on immediately. But that's how I feel from now on, okay? <laughs> Promise me. I'm Promise ready. me. I'm ready. All right. All right. That's Bracken Dowers, Logitech International's president and CEO. What a company. Really, much cooler. Much cooler than the old Logitech for certain. Man Money's back into the break. Booyah! Jim Cramer here from Mad Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. Click here to subscribe and get the jump on my exclusives with CEOs, plus market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.